Well, hello there, and thank you for joining us here at Coolest Life. My name is Tony, and I'm here at the Grand Lodge of South Carolina, as you can see right here behind me. This is what's going on here. This is in Lexington, South Carolina. I'm at the Grand Lodge building. And of course, just as I start this up, they want to start construction and start stuff to make a lot of noise because that's the way my life works here when you're trying to record. But they do have a really nice square and compasses here out front of the building. So we're going to knock and see if we can gain admissions because you've just entered the beeping coolest life, uh, Grand Lodge edition. So in this first room to the right, they've got a lot of past masters in this one here. Um, got a conference room. And a lot of older past masters are definitely here. Let's take a look at this gentleman here. He is from, he was city master in 1765, 1738. Sorry, 1834. That's when he was in within in masonry here. Well, actually, this might be his born on date and his, his, his date of death. But then you can see he was Grand Master in 1817 to 1820. It's neat that they've got an oil painting of all these brothers. Uh, if you ever check the one out about Tennessee, I will put it up here. Grand Lodge of Tennessee. Um, they have to move all their pictures around trying to get a new Grand Master because Grand Master's got a specific place that they put his picture. These are really cool looking. That kind of looks like just a, a flat piece, but that's actually 3D. That's all right. I like that kind of stuff. And in here they've got kind of like a museum set up and or library. They've got lots of different things that are laying here beside some older um, aprons from their history. You can see there's a setting mall there. One thing I hadn't seen in South Carolina was a truncheon. So they don't use truncheons in their um, either degree work. So you're not going to, I don't think you're going to see a truncheon here, but I did want to show you this one here. That's a really, probably one of the nicest sets of um of gavels i've ever seen i mean that's got working tools on it it's nice and glossy those are really nice they, they really catch your eye because they've got the working tools and they've got the the officers um logos on them you see all their different past grand masters and take a look at the size of this gavel here's some other gavels down here a lot of these gavels that would be traveling gavels and this one might not be any exception we see it says something on it. It says made. I can't read it all. Maybe you can read it. Can you catch that? I can't really catch it. Some of the light and the glare is sometimes a problem. But this thing is huge. Give you an idea. There's my hand. <laughs> that gavel. That gavel is huge. Wow. It's, it's massive. And you see these other, sometimes, uh, as I mentioned, there are larger gavels will be traveling gavels. Traveling gavels are depicted as a large gavel normally sets near the master station. And if a group of brothers from another lodge come to visit and there's at least five of them, they would then be able to take that gavel with them when they leave and take it to their lodge. And then another group can come in to go visit them and, um, and take that gavel if they have five members. Normally it's five. Sometimes it's eight. Sometimes you got to have at least a, your your one of your top three officers have to be one of the five. It just depends on the on the gavel and, and what the what the rules are. Some of them they can't leave a certain district, but this would be uh, sometimes they'll just present these uh, gavels like this to a grandmaster. Again, this one here is large too, so this is six inches, about the size of a dollar bill. So you can see this gavel's huge, really good looking gavel. They've got a um, dining room back there. Offshoots, they've got uh, more library books. I say library books. Most of these are going to be somewhat um, Masonic affiliated. And they've got little areas like this. They've got lots of coins and medals that are nice. And they, they kind of explain themselves when you read them. They'll tell you exactly what they're from. Uh, sometimes they're grandmasters visits from other uh, jurisdictions around the world to include the country. So... Um, and look at this, <laughs> that is about the size of a Mastiff dog <laughs> is how big this one is. I mean, it's a little bigger than a German shepherd or, or lab, but, uh, they're good size. And I guess you could touch them. Yep. 
it's hollow, but it is it is metal. That's for sure. Really nice. I really like the the Egyptian thing. Kind of reminds me of Lafayette Dupont Lodge, how they've got their uh, um, the Egyptian theme in their lodge. And I'll put Lafayette Dupont right up here so you can check out some of those pictures. Uh, also, Grand Lodge of a uh, 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 Grand Lodge of New York has got an Egyptian room that's got I believe it's got some of these in there. That's really cool. But uh, there's the pictures here. The gavels. Let's go to another room. These are some um, uh, lodge charters here. They're going to have some meetings in this building. You can see a point within a circle. Just tell you a little bit about that. That's pretty neat. So this is their main lodge room. They just had the uh, floor refinished here. And just put a sealer down so we're not gonna walk across it and that would be the reason that the altar that you see over here is not out in the middle uh the part here at this end would be where your master is going to sit and they'll have some uh sessions here one of the things they'll they'll do here is they've got different people from different uh lodges that, that will be coming here pretty soon they're gonna be putting on a degree actually in this room and although they have offices all around the place the, the main lodge offices themselves with the employees of course they will be closed while they've got uh, this going on and they'll they'll tile this place just fine looks like they got their got one of their benches out here to the side but i really like the uh um columns there I like the chairs and pete was good enough to give me a horse brother pete was good enough to give me a, a a tour here see this is their uh look at that charter october 28 1736 that's been a year or two ago that's when they actually get that that official charter there. I think 1735 was when they uh, officially got became a and started practicing Freemasonry here in South Carolina. They actually had it down in Charleston at one time, and it has since moved here to um, Columbia for a little bit. And then in the late 1990s, they moved and built had this facility here built. It actually, had two separate buildings, and they put them together. We got some really cool pictures. Marquis de Lafayette, one of his major companions, Marquis de Lafayette. And you see this is the uh, swearing in, George Washington, on his Masonic Bible, Inauguration Day. Lots of George Washington items here. Really like all the, uh, check out this. That's a nice column. It looks like it's, it's all silver. Check out the ball. It's marble. Never seen one of those. That looks cool. <laughs> they got the same over there. I'm gonna go ahead and go, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and take a look at the ball they got down here at the uh, uh, senior warden station. Oh yeah, because I, I thought it looked like it was a different color ball and it is. Let's see if it's heavy. Yeah, it's got some girth to it. This is solid. I'm gonna tell you that. This is not hollow. You can tell by the way it feels. It's heavy, it's probably Ooh, I'd say it's 11 pounds, 12 pounds. Look at that ball. Well, you don't you don't see that very often. I'm just saying. Oh, let me lay that back down. So a reason it's laying down. Leave it like you found it. And we'll go right over here. I really like this set here. I don't know if this is solid gold or not, but I have seen some that are solid gold. I seen I think Zerubbabel Lodge in Georgia has got one. I have to look that one up. Uh, solid gold square and compass and this is shows some of the items that they would use for degree work to, to explain some of the symbolisms some organizations will use a powerpoint slide and some will just explain them actually have the physical items talking about the columns and different things i mean here you go talking about the altar well you can talk about the altar because you got one in the room so but uh it's a really nice area for uh to have a lodge meeting I like the floors. I always like the, the checker floors. And there's some items, lots of different historic items on down the hallway to include. There's a, can't hardly read that. Lots of different items. And here's a picture of a, a past grandmaster from 1913. It's over 100 years ago. And they keep going. They, they just got them all around the, uh, the room and down the hallways it's a nice setup though i like it and we got the grand master's office there 
he is not in at the moment. He's got some things he's still putting away and putting up. And this is this is the uh, current uh, grandmaster of the state of South Carolina. Well, that was really cool. I'm so glad they found some time to get us, uh, uh, give us a tour of the inside of the facility so you could see it for yourself. Around the outside, they've got some uh, stones here that commemorate some different things. Sometimes you collect stones because different buildings may have been torn down. And so you'll take that cornerstone here and donate it to Grand Lodge. That happens a lot. Don't know if that's what happened with these, but uh, I've seen that happen before. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour of the uh, Grand Lodge building here in Lexington. Uh, so where we are, yeah, <laughs> Lexington, South Carolina. Uh, we're just outside of uh, Columbia, if you don't know where that's at. Um, but it was definitely a good tour. I'm so glad they, they got a chance to open the building up. They were all trying to go home is what they were trying to do. But uh, it's a good time here. If you get a chance, come by and visit. I'm sure they'll give you a, a tour, especially if you've got one of those Masonic cards, they'll be glad to give you a tour because they did check me on my way in. Because they don't want to take just anybody around. I don't know why. My wife walked around, but eh, that's fine. That's fine. They were extremely welcoming, and, uh, and I definitely 100% appreciate their hospitality. Be sure to like and subscribe. Send this to your friends because you're now leaving the coolest life. South Carolina Masonic Edition.